Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today we're going to be working on an HP Pavilion DV7 notebook computer. This is by Hewlett Packard, and this is one of their media smart computers. So let's begin. Uh, the first thing we want to do, or the first what we're going to be doing today is identifying the hard drive component, removing the hard drive. And potentially, if you wanted to uh, upgrade or replace the drive, this would be the steps on how to do it. So let's begin. Before you work on any laptop computer, the first thing you want to do, step one, is remove the battery. So in this case, I'm going to remove the battery by moving the battery to the release position. The battery will pop up like so. Lift the battery out of its compartment there, and we'll put it to the side. To get to the hard drive and any major component, the RAM's underneath here as well, but to get to the hard drive, you want to remove this plate. And the plate is held down by six screws. So I'm going to start off by unscrewing each individual screw. Now these screws, they do not come off. They actually stay attached to the plate, so you don't have to worry about why the screw is not coming out, because it stays, again, attached to the plate. This is the fifth screw, and we have one more off to the right. My right, your left. Okay, I'm going to use a little flathead screwdriver here. You can use a spudger if you wanted to, which the tool built specifically for getting in between crevices and popping out these little uh, these uh, plates or working on cell phones, smartphones. But in this case, I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver. I have a spudger. I just I guess I was lazy for this video. So I'm going to get between this crevice here, pop it up. There it is. Very easy. Again, screws don't come out. So let's put that aside. Where's our hard drive? Here it is. So the hard drive is held down by two screws. One, two. So we're going to remove those two screws. Leave those aside for you guys. And on the drive here, you have a little tab that I'm lifting up. This tab, it's a little plastic tab, but this tab is going to allow us to slide the drive over to the opposite end and lift it up. So you can see the drive was disconnected from the port, from the motherboard. Here it is. Now to get the drive out of this little casing, there are four screws. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to start off by unscrewing these four screws. Now this drive, this computer will support any size of drive. It doesn't matter. You can have anything from a, you know, 40 gigabyte hard drive, which I don't see why you'd have one. I mean, um, you should probably should have a larger drive nowadays, they're so cheap, to a, you know, a 1.5, 2 terabyte hard drive, and all depending on what your budget is and what you can afford and so forth, but here's the four screws. I'll move those aside so I don't lose any. And the drive comes out of the compartment just like that. So again, any size hard drive, laptop that you can afford, um, this hard drive is a Toshiba drive. I believe this was factory default. I'm not quite sure, honestly. Um, you can pick up a, I think, a 1.5 terabyte hard drive for laptops, just under like, you know, maybe 80 bucks, 80 dollars tops. They're they're not too expensive nowadays. So once you have your new drive, you want to put it back into the compartment. And you want to screw on your little screws here. Whoop, I have that backwards. It goes in the compartment like this. Yep. You want to put your screws back in. Remember there's four screws. Also remember that if you replace the hard drive on this system, 
there goes your operating system. So you will need to reinstall the operating system. It's not difficult. You can get the operating system disks for your computer as long as you have the COA, which is the Certificate of Authenticity Windows sticker. You can pick up the, you can call the manufacturer HP and get new disks from them. Uh, you could save restored disks, be responsible and restore and keep those disks, or you can order some from eBay or Amazon. I've seen them, you know, seven, eight bucks. They're not expensive. They can go up to thirty, forty dollars, all depending on what you want to spend. But if you do some shopping, I'm sure you can get somebody that uh, will sell them for you, sell them to you for a good price. Okay, I'm gonna slide the drive back and oh actually I want to put it push it down now I'm going to slide the drive back in place using this tab now let's put our screws to hold down the hard drive there we go let's put our plate back in place these little notches are going to line up back with the computer right here on the bottom. This will snap back in place. So, there we go. Very easy. So, in no particular order, I'm going to start screwing these screws back in place. sure if you had a mini drill or something it'll make this a lot easier for you there you go snap back in place we've removed and replaced the hard drive going to add the battery back into the battery compartment okay so what we've done is we've successfully removed and replaced the hard drive on an HP Pavilion DV7 notebook computer. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments section of youtube.com forward slash IT Conflict. We're on Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash IT Conflict. We're also on Twitter, that's twitter.com forward slash IT Conflict. And check out our website at www.itconflict.com. Again, this is Eric with IT Conflict. Thanks for watching.